Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel 2. We're on the save menu because I, I just wanted to acknowledge the changes that happened. Okay, so this is where we were last episode. Um, and then I reset to make sure that I could get all of the AP that I missed, which was just three. Um, so as you can see, the levels are the same. I didn't really, I, 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 I level, I, I grinded just a tiny bit. Like, I think I have probably a bit more XP than I did, but not enough to be a higher level. Um, and then as you can see, we saved like 40 minutes because I knew what I was doing. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, pretty much nothing happened. Um, I did make a couple of different, um, courts because I had a bit more for stuff. So there's that. Oh, I can probably equip some stuff onto you. Now that I think about it, that would probably help. Um, okay. And we'll go attack one... Sword breaker. All right, so that should be fine. At some point, I will probably actually think about how I want to use my characters, um, other than just throwing stuff on them. But to be honest, we're in the early game, <laughs> which means that, uh, relatively speaking, um, we this is the way, right? are going to be swapping out all party members as we gain we'll new ones an and stuff, area. like, all the time. So it's going to be rather inefficient to try to do that. Okay, I know that there was a chest over this way from looking at the map uh, previously. Thankfully, there's no enemies over here. Okay. Um, the fun thing is that there is another, in this chapter, I know from the AP guide that there is another boss fight that is just like the, um, the boss fight that I failed at before. What I do know now is that if I do well enough, it will tell me immediately after the boss fight. So if I fail, I know I have. Okay, are you gonna force me into a certain direction or something? Oh, is that gunfire? Yeah. Look, over there. Oh my! That's not good. You aren't getting away. This is the end of the road for you, Third Armor Division. Cursed Noble Alliance in their mood. <laughs> All units fired, don't get me closer. I can't catch up. I'm going too slow. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to think of random voices. You're finished! Yeah! What the hell? Where'd that come from? An ambush? Damn them. How long have they been there? Aim at their feet! All units, concentrate your firepower. Yes, sir! Oh, boy! Ah, that damned one-eyed smartass. Huh, we'll let him have this one. Withdraw to the watchtower. We need to regroup. Sir. Okay. Cool. The Panzer soldats are withdrawing. Fortunately, we were able to keep losses to a minimum. 
The old model tanks performed acceptably, acceptably as well. Should we pursue them? No. Let them leave. We may have the advantage now, but they still have plenty of strength remaining. Launching a full-on assault now would be playing right into their hands. All units, return to Zendergate. Recover the wounded and, and prepare for our next battle. Yes, sir. All right. Cool. Phew. I'm glad that's over. Yeah. But I guess even a place as far out as Nord couldn't avoid becoming a battlefield. The Soldats might be simple copies of the Divine Knights, but those soldiers still did well in repelling them. That was one of the strategies the army developed to hinder the Soldats' mobility and make, it, make them easier to handle. Their execution was brilliant, to say the least. Every one of their units worked together flawlessly. It's clear as day how both the Lieutenant General and his division gained their stellar reputation. Yeah, they're no pushovers. Dad's division is known as the strongest, but the 3rd Armored Division could easily give them a run for their Mira. Well, the one positive out of, all of this is that we now know the Lieutenant General is holding out alright. But why did the Noble Alliance choose to retreat in that direction? I mean, that's where the Imperial Armor Army's watchtower is. Maybe something's happened here that we don't know about yet. And the fastest way to figure that out is to ask the soldiers at Zendergate. That sounds like a good idea. I'm sure they won't mind answering a few questions after that last battle. True. Hopefully. Let's get moving. Fair. Fair. So now you're... Are you forcing me into that? By looking at the map? Okay. Yeah, they, they definitely want us to go to the center gate. Okay. Cool. Well. Can I go over here? I can't believe there are soldats out here. True. They couldn't use the railway, so that just leaves. Okay, I want to get this chest over here. Even though it's probably a bad idea. Because it's a red evil chest. Oh, a chest. I wonder what's inside. We're gonna see. Hostile spotted. Beginning combat. I'll handle that it. That is a lot. Um. Okay. And then we're gonna throw out a selfie dance. An opening. And can we get everyone? Not. What? We're gonna miss the one that I attacked a moment ago. Oh, you know what? We'll see what, uh... We'll see what this does. No, no, we've already... I've already watched this one. I've, <laughs> as soon as I started, I was like, wait. We did test out it before, didn't we? Kaboom! May you rest in peace. Ceasing hostilities. Let's move onward. Two point four. Wow. Okay. I was gonna say that's probably gonna be a level up for. I did it. A couple people. I got it. Done. Very good. And what did we get? Ingenuity. Uh, what's that do? Um, EP gradually recovers while walking on the. F oh. Um. Can I? Let's see. Is there anything that I want to get rid of? On Elliot. Because of everyone. I think that would be best use, best used on Elliot, because it would prevent Elliot from running out of EP, and they are our main healer and stuff like that. Even though 
I don't really heal in battle very often. <sighs> Not nearly as often as I should. Uh, we'll figure out how to implement that later. Okay. Well, I kind of just want to get to Zendergate right away. Because I feel like we're going to get horses or something as soon as we get there. I just get that vibe. But I might be mistaken. It is so far away, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, we can do this. Turbo mode. <laughs> And I'll spy with my little eye the goods. You do indeed. This is actually this is very helpful actually. <laughs> um there okay, there is a chest over here. Good. I spy with my little eye. Cloud shoes. The goods. Alrighty. I will mess with that later. Oh, please tell me that's We're almost Zendergate. There. Hey! Hello! We're here! Friendly faces! Oh, we're finally here. Okay, there's a classmate. Okay. They're just everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> Xander Gate sure is imposing. True. Well guarded, too. I'm not surprised. I doubt that was the first battle to take place here since the war started. I just hope the Lieutenant General is able to meet with us. Right. Who goes there? Class 7. Whoa, hang on a sec. What are a bunch of civilians like you doing in a place like this? You sure don't look like you're from the settlement. Put your hands in the air. Please wait. We come in peace. While I may not be traveling in military uniform, I am Captain Claire Revelt of the Railway Military Police. If at all possible, we'd like to request a meeting with Lieutenant General Vander. You're the icy maiden? The rest of us are students <laughs> at Thor's Military Academy. We only just arrived at the Highlands. Thor's, you say? Wasn't yep. there a bunch of students from Thor's who came here on a field study a few months back? Yes. Uh, now that I you was mentioned with them. young man, you do look kind of familiar. Rest assured, they are exactly who they claim to be. Hello! Well, thank the you for showing General. up. Good day, sir. So he's... It has been some time, Reen Schwarzer of Class 7. I presume those of you I don't recognize are classmates whose field studies took place elsewhere. Correct. Yep. It's a pleasure to meet you. Good day, General. I'm impressed you were able to make it here. The ferocity of this war raging well, around us Well, we did have a bit of a trick up our sleeve. Come. It would be my honor to speak with you and field any questions you may have in my office. Alrighty. So where are our classmates? That's the question. Uh, the Watchtower has been overtaken by the Noble Alliance. I'm afraid so. It happened not long after the war began. They've been using it as a base of operations from which to attack Zendergate. Now we have to fight off their offenses, for offenses from both sides of the border. Sounds like a bad situation to be in. Wow. It sounds like you have it even tougher than Dad does at Gorelia. The situation here is certainly less than ideal. We've been doing all, the, all we can to hold out, even resorting to using the old model tanks. It's been successful so far, but... I see... Sounds like it's only a matter of time before the gate falls. Selene? 
she's not mistaken, I'm afraid. <laughs> Acknowledging the cat. <laughs> Uh, without a significant development in our favor, I expect this base to fall within the month. We're doing all we can to avoid that. But it is a possibility we must accept sooner or later. If I may ask, how did the Watchtower fall into enemy hands to begin with? I imagine it would have been well guarded, considering it was built to keep watch on the Republic. It was. Uh, the soldiers there would have been highly vigilant, too, thanks to a thanks to the attack mere months prior. However, none of us could have imagined the card that the Alliance would play to take it from us. I understand you may find this hard to believe, but we have reason to believe the Alliance has temporarily joined hands with the Republic. Oh! Oh dear! You're kidding! They formed an alliance with Calvert. But that doesn't... Erebonia and Calvert are enemies. Are you absolutely certain? Because you're right, sir. I do find it hard to believe. I am. The soldiers who were stationed at the Watchtower at the time have testified as such. The day it fell, they came under attack by Republican airships. And when the, they were for, focused on fighting those off, they were attacked by Arabonian ships full of soldats from the west. That didn't stand a chance. Oh, no. There seems to be no room for doubt in that case, then. Erebonian and Calvert have been at each other's throats like cats and dogs for forever, though. I would have thought the Alliance would understand just who they were making a deal with. Looks looks like what we have here is a case of the enemy of my enemy is my friend. It gets worse. Ever since the Watchtower fell, all of our orbital communications have cut out, too. That's true for the whole Highlands, actually. So we can't even call for reinforcements from the mainland. I see well, that sure doesn't sound like a coincidence. Huh. <laughs> We're inclined to agree. From what we can tell, there's nothing wrong with the communications equipment itself. I just wish we could get in contact with Gwen. Uh, Gwen? Gwen? I don't remember. Oh. Ta-da! I do recall getting information saying that Gwen Reinford was staying here in Nord. He definitely would, would be the ideal person to discuss technological issues with. Yeah, if anyone could get to the bottom of this, it's him. Of course, if you could just call him and ask, you wouldn't need his help to begin with. It really does sound like we should do something to help here. You need to concern yourself, yourselves with us. This war is between us and the Alliance. Exactly. Leave the fighting to us and focus on the task you came here for. We have no intention of relying on the help of your Divine Knight. I would rather you use it to protect yourselves anyway. You have no reason to suffer because of this war. Besides, you've come all this way. I'm sure Gaius would very much like to see you. <laughs> Gaius is fine! Gaius is here? I believe so. I haven't met with him yet myself, but he left a message for me with one of my men. He supposedly returned here roughly a week ago with several other students. He said that he wanted to assess the situation here before taking off with his home to his home settlement in the north. Then he should be back home by now. Which means we know exactly where to find him. The fighting here grows more fierce with every sunrise. I won't stop you from going after your classmates. But I would ask that you be careful not to get caught up in any of the fighting. The nomads are preparing to move their settlement further north. To avoid getting drawn into it themselves, I believe. <laughs> really? Sounds like we need to head north quickly. That would be prudent, yes. I suggest you use the horses we have here at the gate if you're in a hurry. You can use the same ones you rode during your field study. That way you'll already be used to handling them. Thank you for your kindness, sir. We appreciate it, sir. Alrighty. We got some horses! <laughs> Alright, let's head for the settlement. It should only be an hour away on horseback. Hey, Reen? I've never ridden a horse before. It doesn't really seem like something I could pick up quickly, either. Same. I know, to, I know how to ride one, so if one of you rides on my back and the other rides with Reen, we shouldn't have any trouble. Regardless, we should hurry. The sooner we reach the, sooner we reach the settlement, the better. Right. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, unfortunately, that is about all the time I have for today. So, 
next time we will be heading over to the settlement unless there's a quest here in which case we'll be doing that first um <laughs> but anyway uh that is all i have for today so thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode please let me know down in the comments below and maybe leave a like and if you want to catch the next episode as it comes out go ahead and hit subscribe but for now that's it so see ya